Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. And today, I've taken a plain glass cylinder base from the Dollar Tree and turned it into a snow leopard print vase that is definitely a little more high-end looking than the plain. It was really easy to do. I did it all with paint. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, what you need is a glass base. It's one of the cylinder ones from the Dollar Tree. Some white paint. I like Rust-Oleum because it covers very well two coats and usually it's pretty covered. Um, Rust-Oleum's two times Ultra Cover Gloss Clear. Um, you need some two shades of paint. Uh, gray, I'm using Granite Gray because I like the bluish cast that it has and black. I've got a container to put the paint in, uh, a couple paint brushes. One's got a flat edge and the other one is kind of a thick detail brush. And I've got some washi tape in black with silver glitter. Not 100% sure if I'm going to use this or not, but probably. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is paint this with a couple coats of the white. And after it dries, we'll be back. Okay, um, like I told you when I uh, did my haul, I've got quite a few plans for all these vases that I got. And this one I'm going to paint white. And I think I'm going to put it over here where there's no paint. Because since it is such a beautiful day, I've been getting a ton of painting done. So I'm going to give this, I'm pretty sure it's going to take two coats. And I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, that's one coat. And, like I said, Russell M's amazing as far as coverage goes. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give this a second uh, coat and let it dry. And I've got lots of ideas for this one, too. Okay, I've got the second coat on, and that is just the way I want it. And I'm just going to let that dry, and I'll bring it in and then get started on finishing this up. Okay, I'm going to put a little black paint on this little tray. No, actually it's a plastic lid. And I'm going to take, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this brush or this one, but it needs to be a flat edge. Okay, this one will work. Alright, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make little marks with the brush. And they're going to be in an oval shape. And by doing it this way, they look like um, hair. And I'm just going to make this shape randomly all over the vase. And of course, the first one is always the scariest one. You can see I'm just keeping a little bit of paint on the end of the brush. And I'm going to do this randomly all over the base. And remember when it's paint, you can always add on. Taking off is a little tougher, but definitely you can add on. So I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't go too heavy at first. Like this one here is a little light. 
So I'm just adding a little more to it. All right, I'm going to get uh, the rest of these blotches all over this, and then we'll be back. Okay, I've got lots of spots all over this. And there are a couple of spots on here. Where I'm just going to put a little tiny dab here and there. I was actually looking at pictures of snow leopards and they do have those tiny little spots here and there. Yeah, I think I need one here. Yeah, I definitely have a thing for black and white. I love zebra, I love snow leopard. I just like plain black and white. Okay, now it needs some gray. And like I said, I'm using um, this granite gray. And it's got not quite a, a blue, but there's more blue in it than green, which is in a lot of grays, and I really do not. I'm not a big fan of green, unless it's um, like emerald green. Okay, now all I'm going to do is... And this is all dry now. I'm just going to take the gray and wiggle it inside. And this is just one way to do leopard. Um, if I can find the link, I'll put it either in a card or in the description box for this. But I did um, animal print Christmas ornaments. And this is one of the um, leopards that I did. And I'm just going to finish one side of this and let it dry because it's hard to hold. And when I get that done, I'm going to do the other side. And then after it's completely dry, I'm going to give it a good coat of clear. And to be honest with you, I'm still debating on whether or not I want to use the, um, uh, the washi tape. I'll have to see how it looks after this is all dry and ready for paint. Because if I'm going to use the washi tape, I'm going to put that on first before I spray it with the clear glaze. And like I said, this is um, paint. Just put a little on to start, and if you need more, you add more. There's nothing to it. And I like that little spot there. I think that turned out kind of cute. All right, we'll be back. Okay, all the grays in there. And <laughs> I actually thought I was completely done and found a couple more spots. But, yeah, it's all done now. And I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm not sure if this is going to go along the top and the bottom or not. I'm not, I haven't quite decided yet. Oh well, we'll be back. Well, to be honest with you, um, I couldn't decide if I wanted the, um, black washi tape on this or not. I 
I kind of liked it on the bottom. But then again, kind of like the top too, but I thought maybe it might have uh, taken away from the print. So what I did was I got my hubby's um, impression and he liked it better without the washi tape. I think maybe if I'd have had um, a thinner washi than this or if I would have had maybe white it might have looked better. I didn't really want metallic on this. I know. <laughs> no, I really didn't want metallic. So what I'm going to do is just give this a really good coat of um, clear glaze. Maybe two. And, and that's pretty much done. Okay, I put the uh, two coats of the clear spray paint on it. And you can see it's not too shiny, which is the way I really want it because I prefer to look more like fur than glass. But now it's all ready to put either flowers in it or a candle. Candle would really look good in there because, as you can see, you can get light through it. And it would also be good for dried flowers. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating everyone.